So the first captive that I ever actually set up uh, or brought to risk management advisors was before I was part of risk management advisors. And uh, a friend of mine was in a fast growing um, self storage business, um, accumulating properties at a rapid pace. And one year he, he, he came up to me and he said, God, you know, there's this renters program and they're giving me a 25% uh, rebate on every business, all the business that we send to them. If they're, and he said to me, he goes, if they're sending me 25%, how much profit is really in this? So uh, that was my first introduction to risk management advisors was bringing that over to Jared and Wes. And, uh, and they were able to put together what's called a tenant protection plan. And the tenant protection plan was a way for them to offer um, a benefit to the tenants uh, that if something were to happen to you know, their unit and, and what was being held inside of it, there was three different options and get a, a $2,000, $3,000, or $5,000 benefit. Um, their business was collecting the premium from each tenant, and then the captive would be receiving it from the insured business uh, to ensure all of the exposure for all of the different units um, throughout the country. Uh, and this was a very successful program for them back in the day. Uh, and they wound up selling the business a few years later for a significant profit. Uh, and then three of the four partners decided to do it all over again. So we got engaged with them this last year. And, uh, you know, to their credit, they, they're, they're almost twice as big as they were back in the day. Um, and, you know, we have gone ahead and, and set them up with, with their own captive. We have uh, formed, uh, you know, this inside of their insurance company, they're covering the tenant protection plan. But then we started to look at other things as well. And, and by the way, it's been very successful. Uh, the margins on it are fantastic. So the business is not letting that go to a third party and they're, they're keeping that risk inside of their own insurance company. Uh, but, but then we looked at their other traditional insurance and you know they're, they're happy with their broker, which is fantastic. So we communicated with him, looked at some of the deductibles, some of the risks that they weren't getting in the traditional market and so we layered those risks also into the captive. Now, you got to remember, this is a fast growing business. They're adding 80 to 100 locations every single year. That is a lot of growth. And, and one of the other things that we started talking about was, was their health insurance. When I first started talking about it two years ago, they had 50 people on the plan. They have well over 300 now. Um, and they're adding uh, three to four people to the plan every single week. So their costs were getting out of control in regards to uh, the premiums that they were having to pay on a fully insured product. And, and so, you know, we went to them and, and looked at going partially self-insured and then placing that risk also in their captive. So, so that's a project we're actually involved with right now, uh, but looking at their loss ratios, it, it looks like it's going to be a fruitful venture and, and then we'll, we'll layer that risk as well into their insurance company. So essentially what we've done was we started with a tenant protection program, tenant protection plan, layered in other risks like deductibles in their property, things like that. Um, and then uh, ultimately looking at their employee benefits to see how they can better control their costs moving forward. So it's been very successful thus far.